In this section, I am going to explain synapse, its types and working. Let us see what exactly a synapse is. A synapse is a close proximity of exon end bulb of one neuron and dendrite of the other neuron. In place of dendrite it can also be cyton or the cell body of the neuron. If the synapse is between exon end bulb of one neuron and dendrite of another we simply call it synapse. But if it is between one neuron that is its exon end bulb and a muscle fiber then we call it a neuromuscular junction a neuro junction let us see the structure of a synapse in a synapse there is exon end bulb and we are taking a dendrite here so this part represents the dendrite of the other neuron inside the exon there are some vesicles vesicles are these spherical bodies and in these vesicles are filled the neurotransmitters so this spherical structure is a vesicle and each vesicle has about 2000 to 10,000 neurotransmitter molecules the membrane of exon end bulb is known as presynaptic membrane and the membrane of the dendrite is known as the post synaptic membrane the gap between exon of one neuron and the dendrite of the other this gap is called synaptic cleft it can also be termed as synaptic gap on the wall of exon there are channels and these channels help in exchange of calcium ions so these channels are known as calcium channels calcium channels similarly on the wall of dendrites that is the post synaptic membrane there are channels again but these channels are meant for exchange of sodium and potassium so these are called sodium potassium channels along with these channels along with these channels the post synaptic membrane also has some receptors these receptors are chemoreceptors they are going to receive the neurotransmitter so the post synaptic membrane has sodium potassium channels as well as the receptors now let us see the two types 
of neurons now before we take up the two types the types are on the basis of this gap that is the synaptic cleft so the types of synapses we categorize them into two electrical electrical synapses and chemical synapses in electrical synapses the synaptic cleft is less than 0.2 nanometers so if the distance or gap between two neurons is just 0.2 nanometers then the stimulus or impulse simply jumps from one neuron to another neuron whereas in case of chemical synapse this gap is about 10 to 20 nanometers that means the gap between the two neurons is more and to help in transmitting this impulse there are chemicals which are required and so the name and these chemicals are nothing but neurotransmitters let us go back to the structure and see how these neurons work as we said in an electrical synapse the impulse is going to jump straight from one exon end bulb to the dendrite because the gap is less whereas in case of chemical synapse as soon as one neuron generates the stimulus or impulse and the impulse reaches up to the exon end bulb these vesicles they will come closer to the membrane and rupture releasing neurotransmitter say in this case the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine now this neurotransmitter would come and bind with the receptors which are present on the post synaptic membrane as a result of this a complex is formed this complex is of the neurotransmitter that is acetylcholine in this case and the receptor so as soon as this complex is formed the membrane permeability of the post synaptic membrane increases and as the membrane permeability in increases the impulse is now generated on the other neuron on its dendrite and now this will be transmitted to the cell body now what is going to happen to this neurotransmitter it has done its job now this neurotransmitter needs to be broken down or digested if the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine then the enzyme is acetylcholine esterase which breaks down this acetylcholine into acetic acid and choline these two substances are taken by the exon end bulb and here this neurotransmitter acetylcholine will be resynthesized if the neurotransmitter is adrenaline then the enzyme which breaks it down is monoamine oxidase so in a synapse the impulse moves from exon of one neuron to the dendrite of the other neuron the reason for this direction is 
because it is the exon which is capable of producing the neurotransmitters and it is the dendrite which is capable of receiving these neurotransmitters. Thanks for watching this uh, video. I hope uh, it has helped you understand the working of Synapse. If you have any question, you can email me at neela underscore bakore at yahoo.com.